Hello, welcome back to the shop. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a Klein angle finder. And this thing is kinda of neat because it's digital, and once it's in focus now, it's even nicer. It's digital, and it kinda of should take some guesswork out of things. Should be able to zero it and take measurements. I think it's going to be long enough for bending conduit and everything. I think it's going to work out pretty good. One nice thing I saw when I, and what actually got me to want to get this was it runs on AAA battery, which to me is super handy because button cells are nice and all that, but they are not on job sites. So just something to keep in mind as you get into stuff. You know, button cells are all well and good, but you're not going to find them on job sites, and it's it's just one of those things that, unless you carry batteries or you're willing to have it down until you can get batteries, it's not common to find button cells on job sites. But triple A's and stuff like that are a lot of times. Double A's, triple A's, you know, those things, a little bit easier to come across rather than your obscure LR whatever. Uh, 44 whatever battery trying to get the shop to send something like that out can be frustrating because there's many many different sizes of button cell batteries and depending on who goes out to get it like oh here it is and that's not it let's get this thing open and check it out okay here's what you get so here is the angle finder they send a Maxell superpower ace AAA battery with it and you do get some instructions, but we'll uh, reserve the right to ignore those. Uh, let's take a look here. It looks like the battery compartment is nicely done, actually. It's on the inside of this, and it's got a screw in it. Now let's see if that screw is captured. Because if the screw is captured, this is actually a really nice uh, way of doing this. So let's use this to take this apart. Let's see if we can get a little lift going there ahead of time. Because sometimes they are captured and you, uh, you run them out of the captured bit. So it's got brass. I'll lift this up so you can see. This is indeed captured, which is great not easy to lose on the job site. It's got a little gasket around it, so it's got some moisture fight against things. And then you can see here that the screw, machine screw, goes into brass. They set brass in the plastic, so it's designed to take in and out a bunch of times, and because that's brass, um, it's not gonna necessarily get the galled thread thing going on that's always such a pain with things. So that's actually very well designed. Single AAA battery compartment here. It looks like it won't be too bad to clean if this thing grows on you at some point. So let's put that in. Put that back in here. And run our screw in. Now I'm gonna turn it backwards so I can feel it start, which I just did and we're just gonna snug this, we're not gonna kill it. There we go. Snug, that's all you need. So now, let's turn this thing on. I believe we may have to zero it, which we can do. There's zero. And then you can just start changing your degrees. It's nicely contrasted so even in a bright area this is decent lighting in here this isn't horrible lighting you're pretty pretty good so now let me just lay this flat make sure we have that and it's still zeroed and then we'll go for 90 degrees right there and then we're gonna turn this to lock and we're going to check it with a cheapy square that I have. I have our cheapy six inch square. Got that locked. And we're pretty good. I can't rock that back and forth at all. 
So it looks like we got a good 90 there, which is what we're looking for. Now, there are other versions of this tool. This is one here that you'd have to loosen this thing up and set your angle and then you, you measure your angle. But this is a version that it allows you to measure your angle and, and everything all at once. So once we go past 90, there we go. So let's go to 50. Let's go to 150. This is pretty finite in its control. I actually really like it. We'll set our lock again. And then I think, yeah, there you go. So if you're bending conduit, this is really nice because you can inverse the angle just by hitting the hold button. And what you can do is, here's your 30 degree conduit bend. We always call it 30 degree and other people would call it 150, but there you go. Now if you want to say, okay, let's see what a 45 looks like. Rip this up to a 45. And you're there. There's your 45. And of course the opposite of 45 is your 135. So that's really neat actually. So I think this was mainly meant for sawing and stuff like that, like with miter saws. But I see a huge use for this for bending conduit. As long as you have this much space to get the tool in there, you could pretty much figure out your conduit bends by inversing it. And you'd be like, okay, where are we at? We're at 60, we're at 72. And you could just calculate whatever you have to calculate. So let's see now if we go back to flat We'll set it, lock it. Uh, let's see here. Let's set it to zero and I'll lock it. And then we will see with a straight edge. And we go in there. She nice and straight. Now it is offset a little bit, so it looks a little off, but it's nice and straight. No bends. You know, no. So, with the loose crude tools that we showed here, we proved that it's uh, pretty accurately 90 and pretty accurately straight. So, this is a really nice functional tool that you can store away, and this is really handy. So, you can use this to figure out whatever conduit bends you want, you use it to figure out your saw bends. Uh, you can do whatever you want with it. It's a very nice, versatile tool. And a lot of times, you know, horseshoes and hand grenades is close enough with conduit. So I think this thing's really neat. It's going to end up in the uh, work carry, and we'll, we'll try it out. We'll use it to find some angles here and there. Uh, Klein does also have some levels and things like that that are digital that you can also use. But sometimes something like this, where you just set it in place and bend it, you know, put it where it needs to be. All right, there's what we need for us conduit guys. It's about a 41 degree bend. Nailed it. So that's really handy, really nice, and I can see a lot of use for this thing. Um, and it'll be very handy to have around. So hopefully this was interesting. Uh, just to look at a new tool that came out, and I'm really interested to see how many uses we can find for it. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.